Are societal norms around sex really as ironclad as we think they are? In our modern society, sex is often considered a fundamental part of intimate relationships, a pleasurable experience, a stress reliever, and yes, a biological necessity. But let's shift our perspective and consider another viewpoint. What if less sex, or even no sex, could also bring about profound benefits? Let's explore this through the lens of real-life accounts of individuals who have chosen the path of celibacy and discovered a newfound sense of liberation and personal growth. Take for instance Julia, a 30-something professional who decided to take a break from dating and sex to focus on other aspects of her life. For her, celibacy became a tool to regain control over her emotional health. She found that by stepping away from the pressures of sexual relationships, she had more time and energy to devote to self-care, personal development, and nurturing her relationships with family and friends. Then there's Michael, a middle-aged man who chose celibacy after a series of failed relationships. Michael discovered that his choice allowed him to focus on his passions and interests without the distractions and emotional turmoil often associated with sexual relationships. He found that his creativity flourished, and he experienced a sense of peace and contentment he hadn't felt in years. And it's not just about individual growth, celibacy can also foster a greater sense of community. Consider the story of Lisa, who after choosing celibacy, found a supportive community of like-minded individuals. This sense of connection and shared experience became a source of strength and comfort for her. These stories may seem unique, but they're part of a larger narrative. A narrative that challenges the societal norms around sex and intimacy and shines a light on a different path. A path that embraces celibacy as a choice, not a punishment or a burden. As we've heard from these stories, celibacy can lead to personal growth and liberation. And who knows, this might just be the perspective shift you've been looking for. What might the ancient philosopher Epicurus have to say about modern celibacy? Epicurus, a man of the 3rd century BC, held a view that sex was not necessary for happiness. He believed that the fleeting pleasure it offered was often outweighed by the potential problems it could cause, such as emotional turmoil or unwanted pregnancies. In fact, he argued that peace of mind, freedom from fear, and the company of good friends were the true keys to happiness. Fast forward to today, where many of us are bombarded by sexual imagery and advertising, entertainment, and even our social media feeds. This constant onslaught can make it seem like sex is the be-all and end-all of human existence. But is it really? Epicurus's philosophy suggests otherwise. Perhaps in eschewing the ephemeral pleasure of sex, we could avoid much of the stress and drama that often accompany it, and focus instead on cultivating lasting happiness through peace of mind and meaningful relationships. Epicurus's philosophy on sex remains surprisingly relevant today. Could celibacy be a path to improve mental health? Let's delve into some insights and studies that might shed light on this. Recent research has suggested a potential link between casual sexual encounters and poor mental health outcomes. For instance, some studies indicate that individuals who engage in casual sex may experience higher levels of anxiety and lower self-esteem compared to those who abstain. But how does celibacy come into play? Well, by choosing celibacy, one could potentially bypass these negative effects. Celibacy allows for a focus shift from the pursuit of sexual gratification to other aspects of life that can contribute to personal growth and mental well-being. This could be cultivating strong relationships, developing hobbies, or pursuing personal goals. In essence, celibacy might just provide a mental health boost by promoting self-awareness, self-esteem, and overall psychological well-being. Celibacy could potentially be a path to better mental health. Can celibacy be a secret weapon for creativity? Let's delve into history and meet some of the world's renowned geniuses. Sir Isaac Newton, one of the most influential scientists of all time, reportedly died a virgin. He believed that sexual abstinence fueled his groundbreaking discoveries. Then there's the celebrated composer Ludwig van Beethoven who remained unmarried all his life, pouring his passion into his timeless symphonies. Nikola Tesla, the brilliant inventor, was also a lifelong celibate. He argued that chastity provided him with an unparalleled mental focus. These anecdotal accounts suggest a correlation between celibacy and heightened creativity. By foregoing sex, these historical geniuses seem to have channeled their energies into their work, leading to extraordinary achievements. So, could celibacy be a catalyst for creativity? While it might not be a one-size-fits-all solution for some, it could provide the mental space needed for innovative thinking and groundbreaking work. 
celibacy may indeed be a catalyst for creative genius. Considering celibacy? Here are some practical tips. First off, consider your motivations. Are you seeking peace, personal growth, or perhaps a break from the cycle of seeking physical gratification? Next, embrace mindfulness. This Buddhist teaching encourages us to live in the present moment, helping us to detach from physical desires and find satisfaction in the here and now. Physical exercise can be a great tool as well. Regular workouts not only keep your body healthy but can also help to channel your energy in a positive and productive direction. Cultivate hobbies and interests that feed your soul. Engaging in activities you love can fill the void that the absence of sexual activity might leave behind. Finally, remember it's okay to seek support. Reach out to supportive communities, friends or professionals who can provide guidance along your journey. Embracing celibacy might be easier than you think. What kind of psychological freedom can celibacy offer? A question that might seem odd, yet has profound implications. Many individuals practicing celibacy report experiencing a unique sense of psychological relief and liberation. Imagine not being bound by the incessant pull of sexual desires. Suddenly you might find yourself with a surplus of mental energy, free to channel into other areas of your life. You're not constantly seeking validation from others, nor are you trapped in the cycle of comparison and competition. This newfound mental space can be incredibly liberating. Celibacy can also foster a deeper connection with oneself. You're no longer distracted by the noise of external desires, allowing you to tune into your own thoughts, feelings, and aspirations more clearly. This clarity can lead to personal growth and a better understanding of one's own identity and purpose. In essence, the practice of celibacy isn't merely a physical commitment, it's a psychological journey, a path toward self-discovery and inner peace. Celibacy can lead to a sense of psychological freedom, is sexual transmutation a myth or reality? Now this concept might sound daunting but let's break it down. Sexual transmutation refers to the process of redirecting sexual energy towards activities that promote personal growth and creativity. Think of it as a power source that can be harnessed for different purposes. But is it real? Anecdotal evidence suggests that it might be. Many artists, writers and thinkers have reported a surge in their creative output during periods of celibacy. They claimed that their ideas flowed more freely, and their work was more inspired when they weren't engaging in sexual activities. They believed that they were able to transmute their sexual energy into creative energy. While scientific evidence is scarce, the idea isn't entirely far-fetched. After all, energy doesn't disappear, it transforms. So it's plausible that sexual energy could be diverted into other areas of life, boosting creativity and productivity. Sexual transmutation, a potential benefit of celibacy. What does celibacy mean in different religious contexts? Well, it varies, but let's explore a few examples. In Christianity, many priests take a vow of celibacy, viewing it as a means to devote themselves wholly to the service of God and humanity. They see it as a path to spiritual growth, allowing them to focus their energies on their faith and community. In Buddhism, monks and nuns also practice celibacy, believing it helps eliminate desire, one of the root causes of suffering according to their teachings. They see this self-discipline as a crucial part of their spiritual journey. Hinduism too values celibacy or brahmacharya. It's considered one of the cornerstones of a disciplined life, a way to conserve energy and direct it towards spiritual practices. So across these diverse faiths, celibacy is seen not just as an absence of sexual activity, but as a positive, life-affirming choice that can lead to personal growth and deeper spiritual understanding. Celibacy can play a significant role in spiritual growth. Could living without the pursuit of sex simplify your life? It's a question that might seem outlandish at first, but let's delve into it. Imagine a life where you're not constantly striving to meet societal standards of physical attractiveness or trying to amass wealth and status to be seen as more desirable. By embracing celibacy, these pressures can be alleviated. Your focus could shift from the superficial to the substantial. Think about it, how much time, energy and resources are spent on the pursuit of sex. From the latest fashion trends to flashy cars, it's an endless chase. But what if you could redirect that energy? What if you could invest in personal growth, in fostering deeper relationships, in pursuing your passions? Celibacy isn't about giving up on love or connection. It's about redefining them moving away from the physical to the intellectual and emotional. Celibacy can indeed simplify life. 
It's a path not everyone will choose, but for those who do, it can be a journey of profound self-discovery and fulfillment. What is the NoFap movement all about, you ask? Well, it's a fascinating and rapidly growing community of individuals who have chosen to abstain from self-pleasure, a journey they refer to as rebooting. This movement has its roots in internet culture, but its implications are far-reaching, touching upon aspects of physical health, mental well-being, and personal growth. Many NoFap participants report experiencing what they call superpowers after starting their rebooting journey. These aren't your typical comic book superpowers, of course, but rather profound changes in their lives. They speak of increased confidence, sharper focus, and heightened energy levels. Some even report improved relationships and a renewed sense of purpose. These anecdotal accounts are backed by a growing body of research suggesting potential benefits from such abstinence, including a healthier relationship with one's own body and mind. The NoFap movement shows us that abstaining from self-pleasure can have surprising benefits.